Hey guys, I'm Megan from Dollar Sprout, and today I'm going to show you how to set up ConvertKit for your WordPress blog. ConvertKit offers a free plan, so if you haven't already, go ahead and sign up for that. On ConvertKit's homepage, go to sign up for free. Then you're going to answer a few questions about your blog. So, do you use an email marketing tool in your business if you're just getting started? No. Do you have a website? Yes. Which platform do you use for your website? We use WordPress. And then who are you as a creator? So I'm going to say blogger and continue. Then we're going to add an email address. So mine is hello at blogwisely.com and create a password. Agree to the terms and service and click get started. Once you're in your ConvertKit account, you're going to see a welcome message from ConvertKit and a checklist with some items that they recommend you do. So I'm going to click create form and then choose the type of form you want to create. So for this one, I'm going to say an inline form. Then you can choose your form template. So I'm going to go with a plain one, Mills. Click choose. And then you can edit your form by clicking the heading, saying join, let's say join my weekly newsletter. I'm gonna say get my best content and tips by email. So we're just gonna create a simple form here. If you want, you can add another field by clicking this arrow. And then we'll call this a first name field and we'll make it required, move it up above the email address. And that's all we're gonna do for this form. So when I'm finished editing, I'm gonna say save. And then before we can put this form on our website, we're gonna need to install the ConvertKit plugin. So I'm gonna go to plugins and add new. Then search for ConvertKit, click install now, and activate. Then we're gonna to go to our ConvertKit settings. And you can see here that we need an API key and an API secret. So under your API key box, click the link that says get your ConvertKit API key. And that's gonna open up your ConvertKit account settings. Then we're gonna find the API key, Click in the box and copy the key. Go back over to WordPress, add your key, then go back to ConvertKit, find API secret and click show, then copy your API secret, paste it into your WordPress settings and click save changes. Once those are saved, click refresh forms. And you can see now you have a box beside your default form for posts and pages. Click that drop down and you can see the form that we created earlier. So I'm going to save those changes. Then we can go over to our example blog post. And if we refresh, we can see that our new ConvertKit form now appears at the bottom of our blog post. You can also add a ConvertKit form to any other place in your blog post by going back to our form and then we're going to click on embed find wordpress and this is our form embed code so we're going to copy this code go back to our blog post and then i'm going to paste this code after the first paragraph and click save draft go back to our preview and refresh and now you can see our form also appears after the first paragraph. Once people start to subscribe to your forms and your newsletter, you can see your subscribers over in ConvertKit by clicking the subscribers link in the menu. This is where you'll see your list of subscribers and you can send emails to your subscribers by going to broadcast, new broadcast, 
And here you can choose who you want to send your email to. So we're just going to say for now, all subscribers. And next step. And here you can write your email to your new subscribers. You can name it. And once you're finished, you can preview it via your browser. See what your email will look like to your subscribers. Click next step. And here you can choose to send your broadcast immediately or you can click schedule and schedule your email to go out at a later date. So over here at the top of our email, you can see whenever a subscriber gets an email from you currently, it's gonna be from hello at blogwisely.com. So it's just gonna be from your domain. We can change that by going to your account settings and email and find the email option on the left menu. And we can see that we haven't confirmed our email with ConvertKit yet. So I'm gonna go to my email account and you can see I have a new email from ConvertKit to confirm my account. So I'm gonna click verify my email. Once my email has been confirmed, I'm going to go back to my account settings and I'm going to refresh this page. And now my account is confirmed. So once my account is confirmed, I can edit my email and I'm going to put my from name as my first name so that when somebody receives an email from me, it's actually from a person and not just from an email address. Once you've done that, go down to save settings. And now you can see my from name is my first name and then I have my email address. Be sure if you haven't already that you go ahead and put in a physical address for your emails. Um, Anti-spam laws require that you do this. So there's a default address in here. Go ahead and put in whatever address you have for your blog and your business. And then save your changes. And that's how to quickly set up your ConvertKit plugin for your new blog. Thanks so much for being here and watching this video. If you have any questions about how to start a blog or how to set up your blog, Drop your questions in the comments below. And as always, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the Dollar Sprout YouTube channel for more videos like this one.